Good morning. Early this morning, a package exploded in a distribution facility here in Schertz. Uh, an employee who reported an injury was evaluated on site and then released. At this time, however, the scene and area are secured and the investigation is continuing. The safety of the employees and the public has been, is, and remains our principal focus. Pertinent to the focus on public safety, the City of Schertz is engaged and is working in cooperation with the FBI and the ATF. Here with me this morning are my Chief of Police, Michael Hansen, Assistant Special Agent in Charge, James Smith from the FBI, and Assistant Special Agent in Charge, Frank Ortega from the Bureau of Alco Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. At this time, I'd like to recognize our Chief of Police, Michael Hansen, who will provide you with some additional information. Chief. Good morning. At approximately 12.25 this morning, an explosion was called in to the police department. It occurred at the facility at 9935 Dewar Lane. Members of the Shirts Police, Fire, and EMS responded and determined that, in fact, an explosion had occurred. Shortly thereafter, members of the San Antonio Police Department Bomb Unit, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, and the FBI arrived as well. A package had been traveling along the automated conveyor when it had, had exploded. One employee that was standing near the explosion later complained, uh, complained of ringing in the ears. She was treated and released. We were very fortunate that there were no injuries. It's very early in the investigation, obviously, but we're confident that neither this facility nor any location in the Schertz area was a target. With that said, I need to reiterate the message that we've heard so often recently, that if you have a package that was not expected, if you are suspicious of the return address, if you come across any suspicious object, do not touch it, do not move it, but contact 911 wish to take this opportunity to thank the assistance provided by the FBI, the BATF, Texas Department of Public Safety, the San Antonio Police Department, the Bear County Sheriff's Office, as well as the resources that have been provided by the Southwest Texas Regional Advisory Council and the BCFS Emergency Management. Now I'll open it for questions. The package, did the package come from the Well, the current can't go into uh, the details of the package. It's still under investigation. Uh, we just arrived pretty much, and we're uh, entering the building as we speak. The package, the package was supposedly from Austin, then. Was it the label? What was it? I can't say what the package was destined for, but what again, we're, we're still under investigation. Can this, be, can, this, <laughs> can this be the, the work of a copycat, just because it, it was sent directly into, into uh, something like this? Well, that's what we're working on right now. We're trying to understand what actually happened. We're trying to surf through the evidence and let the evidence take us to where we need to go. So right now, do you guys think that the package is to the nails and shrapnel? Again, we're still looking into it. This, we're still early on. It happened late last night, and we arrived early in the morning, so we we're still working on it. Do you suspect this is connected to the serial bomber in Austin? We do not know at this point right now. Can you confirm that it has nails and shrapnel? I'm sorry? Can you confirm that the package had nails and shrapnel? No, I cannot confirm that right now. Can you How compare you know the two packages to the one that exploded here compared to the... We can't compare them right now because, again, we just entered the building just recently. We had to make sure the building was safe before we could go in. So we're still at the early stages. Can you tell us the size of the package? someone here in shirts. The chief just said that. We, we can't confirm that right now. Again, we, we've just entered the building. What time did you said that wasn't targeted for anyone here? We just entered the building. We're, we're trying to understand that right now, but right now we have no indications that there's any issues or threats to the public here in Shirts. Can you tell us the size of the package and if there's any evidence left for you to actually gather? I can't go into the details of that right now. Is there anything new you can add? 
It's, it's still an ongoing investigation and we can't provide the information at, that, at this time. Are there employees in the facility still? Are they kept there or have they been released? Uh, all the precautions have been taken, necessary precautions have, have been taken, and the right now uh, investigators are conducting their investigation. How long will deliveries be disrupted for in terms of as, as your investigation continues? Will it be for a day? Will it be for I'm, so, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? How long will your deliveries be disrupted for? Well, we're working with the various delivery companies right now with the uh, ongoing investigation. They have their, their security procedures and protocols, so they're doing the normal steps with the security and protocols, but we are working with them on the uh, regular packages throughout the day. Can you describe so this the FedEx facility the offline building? right now? Is this FedEx facility operating in any way, or do people have to wait for the packages to come in? Again, we're working with a delivery company right now about the packages that are in there. Uh, again, we just approached, excuse me, we just entered the building, so uh, the building has been evacuated, and we are ensuring that uh, it is safe to, to go forward. What Sir, what can you tell us, can you tell people who may be concerned that it may be connected and they're genuinely scared. We go from East Austin to Southwest Austin to now North of San Antonio. What can you tell people to keep them from panicking? This is a very fluid investigation and we want the general public to know that their safety is our number one priority. So we encourage anybody in the public that has information to call our, our tip line 512-472-TIPS. Uh, tips If they have any information, all leads uh, will be pursued and investigated. Uh, again, public safety is our number one priority. And, 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 and I understand, yeah, hang on, sir, I understand you've said that before, but you have 500 federal agents here in Central and South Texas, and this has still happened. How can you calm, pe calm people's fears? You have more than 500 federal agents. The ATF is telling our investigative unit this is the ATF's top priority, but another explosion has happened. What can you do to calm people's fears? We're, we have uh, agents from across the country. We have a, our national response team here. We got uh, canine explosive detect detection canines here. Uh, we have intel research specialists. Uh, we're working hand in hand with our FBI partners, state and local partners. We have we've been working uh, round the clock. Uh, again, the public safety is our number one priority, and we're. Uh, providing all the resources that we can that we can to uh, finally find some the person or individuals are responsible for this. Are you confident you'll be able to pull the name that was on the package? Again, we can't go into that right now. I, we I we we're still trying to surf through the evidence, so we're still at the early stages of this of this particular event here, and it's part of the investigation. Why did you open the building? Evidence, thanks to this package and maybe some surveillance video. What kind of evidence? We can't go into the evidence that we do have, but again, we, we have just approached this building. I mean, we're only three or four hours into this. First, the priority was to render this building safe so, so uh, the agents can go in and conduct the investigation and, and gather the evidence. What so we are still a very, we're going to be here for a little while. Were there any other damages packages down while y'all were looking through the facility? I'm sorry? Anything else while you're looking through the facility? I'm sorry? We have not actually done a search yet. What about the one at the facility, FedEx facility in Austin by the airport? Is that connected at all? Do we know yet? I'm unaware of that. What happened over there? Well, there's agents there too. So there's agents that this, you guys are here, and there's agents also at FedEx facilities back in Austin. Why are you guys there? Do you know why you guys are there? No, I don't know personally why we're there. What happens to all the packages here now? I'm asking, people are asking, what do they do if they want to pick up the packages here, or if they've got something coming from here? Well, we're asking people not to come here right now because we're still a crime scene. We're still searching the one more question. We're, we're still searching the, the packages and all to ensure that there there is no other devices there. So we're asking those people just be patient and if they know of something, definitely call your local FBI, your local ATF, or your local police department and report it. We need the public's help right now. What's what the kind plan of for FedEx employees? Those that were evacuated this morning, those who may have to report to work. What's the plan? You'd have to contact FedEx on that one. What kind of damage did you guys see inside? Again, like I said earlier, we, we just don't know right now. Okay, what's going on? What do you know? Because you've yeah. given us a whole bunch of we don't know. So what can you tell us? We can tell you that the, again, the public safety is our number one priority, and we're, we're following all leads that we receive, and that's why we encourage the, the general public to, to uh, help us out and provide any information that they may have uh, by, again, calling our tip line. One, one, one last question, please. One at a time, please. 
It, this is an ongoing investigation. I can't get into the details of, of that right now. It was reported that it went from one conveyor belt to another. Can you confirm that? No, I, I can't confirm that at all right now. I cannot confirm that. Thank you. Have a good day. What, what are you hey, names? Can we get y'all's names again? Can we get y'all's names? What were their names again? I'll, I'll go over the, uh, the names and their spelling. Uh, just keep in mind that this is a very fluid situation. Uh, and there are a lot of questions that were addressed, and based on the magnitude of this investigation, we're looking at all of our resources, and we're, we're encouraging that the public uh, provide any information, provide videos and any other information pertaining uh, to this or any other suspected package. Uh, at this point, uh, I will go over the names again. Uh, we, there is not a scheduled press event uh, for today. If there's any other information that will be put out, it will be put out through the uh, respective social media accounts. Sir, with all due respect, you, with these other incidents in Austin, you've been able to hear pretty detailed stuff how the package gets, whether it's putting candles in or the strip wire. I mean, to not even know was it Due to the early stages of this uh, investigation in this particular facility, uh, we're working hand in hand with to collect all the information and put together a timeline. And that information will be relayed through the social media accounts of different departments. Is, it, is the delay because it happened in this facility that it wasn't out in the open 